you start trying to project what this roster is going to look like on opening night, I think the real shock here for this is look who made the team, right? I mean, when you are picked where you are, especially later in the draft like this, and for the youngster to kind of come out of nowhere as a rookie to seize that moment, make the team, and have the impact he had in camp, Huge props, major respect to that youngster right there. We're gonna try to get him on the show, I think, here sometime in the next. All right, everybody, I wanna bring it back to the rookie here for a second. And you know, I know there's a lot of hype and a lot of buzz, and you know, we've seen kind of mixed reviews with a lot of freshmen breaking into the league over the last few years, right? I mean, you look at some of these guys with the hype trying to make that jump, and they're kind of underwhelming debuts. Some set the league on fire. Look, I, I really think they've got a chance to see and have something special with this kid. I, I've really liked where his game's at, but I would also say this. Let's not panic if he gets off to a slow start, right? It's his first year in the greatest league on the planet in the sport of hockey, right? So let's, let's just maybe temper our expectations. If he doesn't have 50 goals in the first 20 games, let's not write him off as a bust but I am very confident that they have got a special player in this young man. He's a forward. I think he is born to score goals, and he will find a way to light the net very quickly in this league. Uh, a lot of people jumping in on the text line here, weighing in with their thoughts. And I think we should be making a big, big deal about the kid not having a banner night, this magical, romantic night in his debut game in the National Hockey League. Yes, I get it. Doesn't pick up a point. But guess what? There's lots of other great players in the history of the game that didn't pick up a point in their first NHL game. So give it some time. This is a long-term build. This is a long-term plan with this player. Let's give him some time. Let's not make or break his career after just one game. Okay? Can we get on the same page on that? All right? Let's go to... Hi, everybody. Welcome back to New York, home of one of the greatest dynasties in hockey history. Four straight people. I am looking forward to this. Lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Utah's on the attack. Sometimes when you get one, many follows, but for this group, he can feel it. He just wants to get on the board. The Islanders have it from the corner. Slotted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We're still scoreless. New York's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Center and feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Handles the pass. Here's the chance on the attack. Puts it on net, grabs the puck. Goaltender covers up, we got a stoppage in play. Past the midway mark of the frame. Still scoreless in this one. The Islanders win the draw. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Feeds it over. Shot. Oh, what a save in front. Great reach with the poke check. New York's got it from behind the net. Athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. 
And let's reflect on that save again. I want to see it because in real time, I thought that puck was going in, James. But he manages to find it. Like, listen, you don't make those saves in practice. You know why? You don't have that level of desperation. This is urgency. This is instincts. And he makes an unbelievable stop. New York's got the puck against the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Utah's got it against the boards. They've put the puck into the offensive end. The Islanders have it behind the cage. Shakes off the coverage. New York's got it along the wall. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Here's a short pass to Dursey. Grabbed along the board by Bugstad. And he takes the feed. Sends it in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. New York's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a chance. Gives them nothing in front. Utah's playing it through center. Saucer feed. Goalie with a stop. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. Bugstad's won the draw and they'll look to set up. Feeds it down low. Stupendous blocker save by Sorokin. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The setters will glide into the dot. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Bolduc's got it in the defensive end. Sends it in on the attack. Quick pass over to Bugstad. Dumps it into the Ozone. New York's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Islanders gain the zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. Wrist shot from the slot. Here he is on the backhand. And that goes off a player. Moves the puck along the half wall. Scores! Look who's on the board. That's his first of the year. Utah's rolling now, having taken a one-goal lead here in the second. Well, yeah, they got to be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press now, James, as they seem to have control of the game right now. They can't give any momentum back to their opponent. New York's got to find ways to finish because they continue to trail here late in the second. Marino's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Comes up with a big-time glove save. Puts it on net. Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Moves it quickly over to Pullock. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Passes it over. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Here in the late goings of the period, Utah's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Forty minutes of play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breath, and then it's on to period number three next. The Islanders are looking to get back into this one, trailing early in this third period despite having the better scoring chances. Utah's in transition. Looking to set up offensively. Here's a chance in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Moves across the point. And he takes the pass. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Taken away, Fran Larceny. Utah 
Ross gained possession along the boards. Up along the wing. Dishes it off. The Islanders have possession shorthanded. Utah's got the puck in their own end. Completes the pass, but all sorts of pressure here. Horvat's almost ready to get back on the ice. Works it across to Lee. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. And he sidesteps the check there. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. The Islanders have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. Off the draw, they take possession. Passes on over to Lee. The Islanders take it across the line. Moves into the slot. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Kerfoot's got it against the boards. And he easily stops that one. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Utah's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. And they win the draw here in their own end. Here they come on the attack. New York's got the puck along the wall. Picks off the pass. Break away. Oh, beautiful yes. save on the play. And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Ties it over with pace to Nelson. Takes a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. The Islanders fan base has been buzzing over the last 24 hours, speculating what this road trip looks like when they open up on the road for their next game. And a lot of points up for grabs. Let's see how it plays out. New York's got it now. Lowers the boom with that hit. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Looks to set up at the point now. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Into the offensive zone. Drives it to the crease. There is the score. Johnny on the spot. He tucks in the rebound. Utah's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such a impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Slides it across. Fantastic save. Takes the pass. Starts the game. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back-to-back. -back. Utah's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. The Islanders win the draw on their own end. And he gives it over to Romanov. Gaining momentum along the wing. Fires it on net. Gets in front of it. Slides the puck over. With possession along the wall. Slides the puck down low. Takes it over. Scores! Deuce is wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the forecheck. He's hounded it. He's hunted it. And guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Utah's got it in their own zone. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. New York's looking to break out of their own end. Gaining steam here on the attack. Moves it to Bugstad. Gain momentum up along the side. Centering feed. And that's stopped. Scooped up along the wall by Kirkland. There's another stop. Score! Hang on, hang on, James. This is not going to count. Look Whoa. at the bodies down there. The goaltender.
goaltender had no chance of playing the puck. This is definitely goaltender interference. Look at this. No time to think about that non-goal calls. We are ready to resume here. And they win that draw center. And now it's over to Declare. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Through center along the wing. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. The Islanders gain possession in their own end. Fans screaming for a shot as the clock winds down. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. Obviously a disappointing result for them, Cheryl, but... And, you know, what? I'll say this. One of the other little sidebars from this game, I really like the fact that the rookie got his first point. You know, to finally get that, I think that's a nice weight off his shoulders. You know, to finally know, hey, you know what, it's for real. I got a point. Because, you know, what, a junior in different levels, you know, you gobble up points more, right? You kind of, that's what you get your bones on. And now, all of a sudden, here you are in the league, and you're waiting for it. You don't want it to go too long. I think it happens quick enough for him. Nice little confidence booster for him going forward. All right, time for a quick pause for the cause. We'll get back to much connect with Ray Ferraro who's actually home one of the rare appearances he makes at the home front during the uh, during the season what's the meal of choice at home today uh, whatever Cammy's cooking because uh, <laughs> it's not that's not me I, you don't uh, have a say no I've got a say but I don't have any ability so <laughs> you could have a say but you got to be able to do something unless he wants eggs tonight that's uh that's about it for me. For a guy who's known as Chicken Parm, I expected more. Yeah, I expect more, too. <laughs> what? Well, here we go. Will we see it done tonight? I think we're going to see history made. The youngster with a chance to establish a new mark for most points in franchise history in a single season, and he's doing this as a rookie? I never thought I would say this at the beginning of the year, but I'm saying it. He's gonna get it done. He has been that good. I am such a believer in this kid, and maybe because I've been calling all of his games all season long, I'm buying what... We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. through the middle of the ice. Shot! Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Now, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save, that's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Michelli's got it along the wing. Sends it down low. Now a quick pass to Sergachev. Pass back to the point. Quick pass to Carrick. Utah's got the puck. Quick shot. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by 
Sasha Sturkin. And there's another stop. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Utah's had the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. New York's moving it along the wing. Throws it in. Utah's got the puck along the wall. The Rangers going to work on offense. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Utah's in now. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Carrick. Moves it around along the half wall. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And now it's grabbed by Bugstad. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. That eyes him on the play. Sends it quickly to Lafreniere. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Denies him! He got all of it! Utah's got a hold of it against the wall. <laughs> Tries to feed it over to Bubstad. He's got a step! Stopped on the breakaway! What a save he made there! Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're gonna beat me, you gotta find room. And the officials are gonna say play on here. Well, that's some great speed to be able to catch up to the puck and keep that play alive. Passes it over! Unreal pressure! Denies him! And this is a dialed-in goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it side. Scores! And the kid has his first in the show. Someone get him the puck, James. First goal in the NHL, and that's got to feel great. When you're a young boy, you dream of that moment. This is a moment you'll never forget. Oh, that's just two goals in under two minutes. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. Well, a special moment for that young rookie, and now he's got to find a way to try to calm those nerves. Uh, it's going to be tough because the adrenaline is going to be a flow in. You know, when he was a young child, he probably thought about this moment over and over. And now that it's happened, probably a little surreal. So it's going to take some time there to just embrace the moment, get back out there, hey, and try and do it again. Moves the puck. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Shesterkin's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Looks like the head coach has a few instructions for the young rookie before play resumes here. Well, the coach recognizes that that last shift, they built a ton of momentum, and it's about building on top of that. So having a conversation with the young rookie is just a reminder that, listen, you got to be on your toes. you got to push. you got to press. Be aggressive on the puck, and let's continue this flow of pace. New York's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Slides it on over to Panarin. Gains the zone on the left wing. Shot! Oh, and he stops that one. Passes over to Bugstad. New York's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Panarin. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Utah's got control of the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Utah's got a hold of the puck now. New York's got the puck. Sends it ahead to Panarin. And he takes the dish. Here's a shot. Makes the save. Cole and Cole under pressure. Down the left wing. They gain the zone. Sends the pass in front. And that shot's blocked. The Rangers cross the blue line and are on the attack. Valabaki's lugging the puck. Passes ahead from the right side. 
Dishes it off. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. He's got a gift to read and anticipate the play, and when he drops into that butterfly position, not only is he as big as possible and covers the top half, but he's agile enough to slide across to cover the lower half. Utah's got possession of the puck. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Oh, wow! Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Shostakhin! Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. The Rangers have the puck in the corner. Here's a shot. Ingram's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Utah's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Players are set, officials are set. Third period action is coming up. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Poked away by Marino. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Stars and look who's at it. because you're playing with a ton of confidence, not afraid to put the puck to the net and, of course, retrieve it. Off the draw, a nice job knocking up his opponent. On the attack along the boards. Too many bodies in the way. Utah's got a hold of it along the wall. Jersey's stick handling in his own zone. Odd man rush. Good stop by Shusterkin. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Utah's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. The Rangers win it in the defensive zone. Feeds the puck to Hito. From the left side, they gain the zone. Puts it on net. Off the glove, and the puck skips away. Ingram's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Lacks it into the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. Receives the pass. And he shuts the door on that. Utah showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. You know, if we can bring this back to the kid here for just a second, you know, we saw that moment during the broadcast where, you know, the coach was kind of on him and challenging him to just try to deliver. And I don't know if he ever really got a chance to sort of... All right, everybody just needs to stand down, right? Can we all just stand down now for all the panic and worry that, oh, 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 when's that first goal coming? It's there, right? Okay, do it with me, everybody. All right, because I am like a yoga master. Actually, not really, but I at least can collectively go. <sighs> All right, kids score. All right, he's on the score sheet in the National Hockey League. And there's going to be a lot more where that came from, okay? So let's just all chill. All right, go ahead. Let me hear from you. Let's go to the phones here now. All right, that's a great text from Tiago who wants to see much more of that as well. Okay, to the phones we go. We go to Rebecca in Bayside. You're on the air. Hey, I think it's I think it was a great win and I think the biggest winner was the fact that the Rook had a goal like I'm just really pleased to see how quickly he's developing and I know it's early but I feel like with each game we see something new we see a different side of him we see his confidence growing so so far so good in my eyes well I still want to see more right I mean I think there was that glimmer of hope that I saw that I'm going okay Back in preseason, I like that. He's obviously here based on that performance. 
now want to see him kind of take over right now you get a goal that's certainly encouraging that builds the confidence but i want to see that next step as he continues to grow and mature here in the national hockey league thanks for the call for rebecca that frees up well, something I never thought I would have seen this season, but the fact that the kid has a chance to establish a new franchise record for most assists in a single season, this is unbelievable. The fact that he has shown himself to be as good a playmaker, and not just in team history, this kid has established himself already as one of the best playmakers in the league right now. You know what, and that's a great point, and thank you very much for the call there, Jackson. And, you know, when you look at some of the players out there and the young players in the league that are making people take notice, I think you have to look at him and what he has done so far in his early steps in the National Hockey League. You know, up front, he's finding a way to the net. He's finding a way to engage. You know, he's also showing a two-way game. And for young players, you don't see that often. That usually takes a lot longer. And I've been really impressed from what I've seen from this young man in his early steps in his career in the National Hockey League. All right, back to the phones we go. We've got Dylan on line five. Hey, Dylan. Well, busy night in the National Hockey League. Let's see what happened elsewhere on the ice. The Canucks had a tall order to fill as they tried to take two on the road against the Lightning. Tampa Pile drove their competition with a big time win. The Flyers were in a dogfight on the road against the Oilers. Philadelphia topples the opposition with a strong defensive performance and they get the win. The Blackhawks had an on ice collision with the Flames. Chicago put up a strong. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Slides it quickly to Carlson. Along the half wall with the puck. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Slides it across. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. The Ducks take possession off the faceoff. Anaheim's in on the offensive attack now. Good solid check and he loses control of it. Utah's got the puck in the defensive end. The Ducks have it against the wall. Utah's got possession here in the offensive zone. Let's the fly from the point! And that carries off one of his teammates in front. Quick feed to McTavish. The Ducks take it along the wall. Big hit along the board. Wow, he was so aggressive on this one, James. He recognizes that he's got to close and then shoulder on shoulder. This is a clean hit and disrupts the player from the puck. That's a beauty. He gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Utah's got control of it now from their own end. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you got to figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. Pokes it away in his own end. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the game is still scoreless. Bubstads won the draw at center. And now he tries to get it across to Kerfoot. Broken up in the neutral zone by Vetrano. Quick shot. Big time stop. Ingram's in it to win it here. I mean, you can see it with that save. He tracks and he's so dialed in. It's a competitive nature to challenge the shooter in the slot. Angles it over to Fabry. And now it's to Vetrano. And that's knocked away by Sergachev. From the right side, takes the pass. Loses the coverage there. Here's a chance. 
Gibson's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Welcome back, everybody. We're your friends, Cheryl and James, and we are about to get ready to go with the second period. Slides into Strom. Here's a shot, and he had the answer on that one. Makes a move in front. Oh, another great save right there. Nice feed from the right wing. Dump it in. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Gudas plays the puck. Utah's looking to break out of their own end. Feeds it over. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick and off target. Gibson's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Still lots of time left in the period. Still looking for our first goal. Quick feed to Bugstad. Moves the puck to the attacking area. And that's offside, stopping the play. Past the midway mark in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Anaheim's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. Minchikov's going to play it against the half wall. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Well, a great A scoring chance. Oh, alone. Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. The Ducks have had a lot of things go their way tonight, except for the score in which they trail here in the second. Utah's got it in the offensive zone. Unloads it! The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Gudas works the puck in his own zone. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Takes it from the right side. Here he is with the backhander. And he slides it quickly to Dursey. From the slot, wrist shot, denies him! Here we go, they've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. Face-off coming up. They can smell blood here, I think. Yeah, they need to put their foot on the gas pedal because they recognize that the goaltender, he was under seas, James, and he really didn't get a chance to get much rest. Quick pass over to McGinn. Quick pass to Gossier. Takes a shot. Oh, stick save and a puke. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Fires it on there. firepower in full effect tonight as they continue to dominate late in period number two. Uh, and this is the collective and cohesive effort as well. And you know in the intermission, there's going to be a lot of chatter and some relaxation laughs in that dressing room because they have this lead, they have this game. They just want to come out and continue to play the way they started it. Some good stick work to force that turnover. McKinn's got the puck. And you can hear these fans calling for a shot Nine seconds. Fires it. Big start. Just as time expires in the period. 40 minutes down. Still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next. Welcome back, everybody. You know you weren't going to miss this third period. Sabalski, pounder, ready to bring in the action. the puck. Utah's got it across the line. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just 
just enough to keep it out. And down it goes, the puck goes free. Carlson's got it in the offensive zone. And that's a great heads up play by Jersey. Utah has been working hard all night long, in particular in their defensive position. And they're just shutting down, closing all of the white ice with those sticks, intercepting a ton of passes. Puts it off the outside of the frame. From the boards, he takes that pass. With the backhander. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? My word, they really got them hemmed in here in their own zone. And that's blocking. You know they'll be feeling that one. Slides the puck across. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Takes the puck, but still hangs on to the puck. McTavish's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. Here's a short pass to Vetrano. The Ducks have it now. Along the side, here they come to the neutral zone. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Utah's on the attack. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Utah's got possession at center. And that's intercepted. Oh, and some smooth skating to lose the defender there. Into the corner of the attacking area. Made the stop on that play. Oh, the turns it perfectly in the offensive end. And a great seed. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Gains the zone through center. Shot. Oh, what a stop. Sends the pass over. And just hitting the final minute now in regulation of this blowout. Slides it diagonally to Vetrano. Utah's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Schmaltz. Takes the feed. Quick shot. And he comes up big with the stick save. Getting all of it with the paddle. Utah's wrapping up their road sked tonight before they return home in front of the faithful. And you know this is one of the more passionate, one of the more vocal buildings in the league. Can't wait to get there. And the cherry on the top between the pipes. And you know, this is the type of win that I want to see, right? I mean, I want to see the rookie finally kind of take that step forward, and he does, picking up a goal in the victory. But this was more of a complete team effort, and this is how this team's going to have to play in order to win. There are not enough superstars on this team to just have somebody carry this team on a particular night. You've got to take it to another level and to another gear, and we have seen that in this particular night. Now let's see if they can be consistent enough to reel off a few of these, all right? Uh, do you buy it? Do you see it? Social media, a lot of people on our poll questions saying they don't believe in it, but it's still early, people. to the show James Sabalski and as promised Ray Ferraro joins us on the line how are you today ah, I'm doing all right I think just yeah. all right yeah yeah still on the right side of the flowers always right always a good thing <laughs> you know, or the right side of the ice as we're in hockey season here uh speaking of moving on up uh how about this young little rookie and the opportunity that presents itself here well this is a big step you get a, a chance to play in the top six of your team and that means the coach uh, has expectations too he's not just putting you there because he wants you to skate around. They need production out of this line, and, and they think he can give them a, a little bit of a jolt. Well, and here you go, an opportunity in the top six. Go get that opportunity. Uh, a couple of other things that are going on elsewhere around the league.
All right, let's go around the horn and see what happened elsewhere around the NHL tonight. The Ducks took to the ice for a couple. Setters both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Saka's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Tremendous hit into the boards, and that's a finishing play. Break away. Oh, the eyes on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that play. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Well, Cheryl, I know there were a couple of key players you had your eye on going in for this one. Let's go pound for pound. You know, it's interesting, James. When you're evaluating players, especially ones with a similar style, you can really tell who came into the game ready, who had done their preparation and was ready right from puck drop. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Geeky. Quick shot! And that's turned aside by Ingram. Utah's got a hold of the puck. Slides it across. Takes a shot. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Looks to pass it to Sergachev. And now he moves it to Jersey. Cuts into the paint! Oh, what a beautiful glove save! <laughs> Carlin Bathe, a lot of people talking about line shuffling. And as we look down on the bench, there's our young rookie who we've talked about a lot, having quite the conversation with his head coach. Well, I think this is a reminder that he's doing a real good job dictating pace, owning the puck. If you look at the possession time and the sustained pressure they've had, I think it's really important for a coach to recognize them when a rookie is playing well because confidence is everything. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. Moves it to Gunther. Puck scooped up by Kiki. Feeds it on over to Petra. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Blocked in traffic. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Cut into the slot. Oh, a clutch save. Quick pass to McAvoy. Into the offensive end now. Shot! Can't connect as it goes off a stick. And he slides it quickly to Cole. Utah's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a shot! Way too much congestion blocks that. Dumps it in. Utah's got a hold of it against the wall. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Centering pass in front! Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Shot! Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Here in the late going of the frame, we're still scoreless. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Utah's got the puck in their own end. Here's a chance. From point blank, big time save and goal as he gets all of it with the stick. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Passes it over to the low slot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Swayman. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. And that's deflected off someone in front. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. And he takes a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. <laughs> 
Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back for period number two in a moment. Boston's looking to break out. Oh, great move to sidestep the check. Puts it on net, and that's blocked away. Utah's got it in their own zone. came quick and it was right out front he had to be sharp he'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes lots of time left in this period still no score in this one Zach has won the face off now a quick pass to Lindholm the Bruins will play it in their own end shakes off the defender with some nifty moves Ingram's gonna hang on for a whistle Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. The Bruins win that offensive zone faceoff. Oh, what a save in front. Gunther's got it on the offensive end. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. Great pressure on the offensive end by Gunther. And it's a quick pass to Pasternak. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Handles the pass. And he takes the feed. Oh, what a block save! Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Sends it quickly to Gunther. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Swimmin. There he is from the slot. Fantastic save. Carlos taking it from his own end. Dished on over to Saka. Here he is, Swimmin on the in the game so the opponent is hunting oh james goalies get really angry about these ones you have a defensive zone turnover you could be out of your zone instead the goalies cut out of position and the puck's in the back of your net well stick taps all around and even a smile from the coach as the rookie makes his way back to the bench well yeah and this is positive reinforcement and i love that he's getting this james because earlier they had a conversation about the specific instruction and expectations on that shift and when you go out and you execute and then you come back to the bench and you're kind of looking at your coach and they give you that reinforcement it's a great feeling the bruins win the draw <laughs> Utah's got the puck inside the defensive zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Taken by Zadorov. Takes it to the net. Not even close. Well, that's a great A scoring chance, James. You have to find a way to get that on net. The goal to the score! Because he's been all around the 
paint tonight, James is showing off his skill set. Well, Pounder, any thoughts on what's being said right now on the bench? Well, this is all about energy. You've scored a couple quick goals, and the coach is just reminding the young kid, hey, keep it going here. You're going to get out there, have good habits, but don't be afraid to create some offense and drive the net. Utah's dialed in here tonight, now up by two in this second period. Well, sometimes you can see and you can feel the energy of a team, and that's exactly what's happening right throughout the lineup right now, goaltending all the way down the ice into the offensive zone. I mean, they have just put on the clinic in terms of their shots. They're finding a way to get pucks through to the net, and to be truthful, I'm surprised they only have two. And that's intercepted by Zadora. Marchand's moving the puck through his own zone. Boston's got it along the wall. Utah's got a hold of the puck now. And he takes the pass. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. He's already got two goals. Another one would be fantastic. Slides the puck across to Pasternak. Over the line they come. Pokes the puck away. The Bruins played along the wing. We're swimming close. Breaks up the play with a poke check. Well past the midway mark of this period, Utah's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Takes the feed. Takes it to the front. Turned aside with the glove by Ingram. Well, if they're going to do something with this man advantage, now's the time. They don't have the luxury of time, James. They have to be urgent and get the puck up ice. Takes a shot. Blocker saved by Swayman. Well, goaltender has to be able to anticipate the play, and he does just that. Gets clear to the shooter in the low slot and makes the save. And nearing the final minute of the second. Across the line and on the attack. Fires it on net. Oh, big time save by Ingram. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. McAvoy's got the puck in his own zone. The Bruins with one last gas before the period runs out. Utah's got the puck. Sergachev's got it in the defensive end. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period, don't go anywhere. Utah's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Cheryl. James to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. Boston's won it. Puck grab by Lindholm. Fires it. Oh! Sergachev. Jersey's got it across the line. Shot. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Utah's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Patra. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Quick feed to Sergachev. Utah's got it in their own zone. Steps across the blue line. Quick shot. And he missed the net. Well, he did more than miss the net, James. I mean, he missed it by a large margin. That's a breakout pass for the other team. Boston's got the puck now. Here they come up along the wing. Takes a shot. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. We're still in the early stages of this period. Utah's really put the squeeze on here now, up by three. 
Slides it quickly to Gunther. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Shot! Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. To his teammate! Here's a shot! Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Utah's laying a pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Boston's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Utah's got a hold of it along the wall. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Shot! And that caroms off a body in traffic. Cutting to the front of the net. Decides to think about it. Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Looking for space inside the D zone. Valamaki's lugging the puck. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Too much congestion in front. Shoots it on the backhand. Big time stop. Slides the puck down low. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 3-0 is the score. Takes the pass. And that goes off course off a of body. Boston's got possession of the puck. Utah's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And he puts that one aside with ease. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Senators are on the schedule next, and when those two teams meet up, it's always a fun one. We'll see you then, I'm sure. Past the halfway mark of this period, it has been a one-sided affair. Three-nothing is where we sit. Here's a short pass to Cole. Great save by Sweden. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Here's a chance. Oh! to get to that puck he's reaching but it's all about the desperation the will and the complete level to find that puck face off coming up here in the attacking zone well they want to put their foot on the gas pedal here sensing that the goaltender's overworked right now and let's face it he can't change the Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone grabbed in the open ice by Coyle puts it on there handles that one and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end and they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Up along the wing. He's got a step. Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the putt tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the hottie. What a moment. And we knew this young man was going to be a good player in this league. But I don't think anybody expected this as he picks up another point and now sets a new franchise record for most points in a season, Pounder. Uh, one word, special. There's no question about it. He is a special talent, James. Not only can he distribute the puck, he can transport it, and then, of course, he's got a lethal shot. He is the full package. The real deal is on display. Utah's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Shot! Walker stopped by Corpusello. Here's a shot, and that's off target as it hits a body. Utah staring down a shutout late in the game. You know they're going to do the best to protect their goaltender to ensure that they get it. But at the end of the day, it's about bragging rights. Listen, the other team isn't able to score. They're not able to penetrate the inside of the ice and cash in. You're feeling it, you love it, and you're going to share it and swats the puck out of midair. The Bruins take over on possession. Schmaltz moves it into the attacking end. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Boston's got the puck along the boards. McAvoy stick handling in his own zone. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Cole. Utah's got the puck against the boards. Dishes it off. Turns him away. 
Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Utah's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Opportunity to uh, weigh in with your thoughts coming up in just a few minutes. But first things first, we are joined by Ray Ferraro. Good afternoon, sir. How goes today? Well, always grinding, always grinding, yeah. right in the middle of the hockey season. Um, what did you uh, What did you make of this opportunity by the kid last night to get into the top six? I thought he did a great job. Um, I, I know if I'm a coach, that I would reward this with another another chance next game in this top six for him and. You know, we, we often talk, James, about consistency, and that's really the challenge for him. He's a talented kid. Uh, I don't doubt that he's got the ability to play in this in this position, but can he do it game after game after game? Well, he played well, and so he's likely going to get another shot at it. And consistency, always the most challenging thing for a rookie, right? And boy, what an encouraging step, at least in the right direction here with this one. And the next opportunity for them when they go back, you see players like this that come along once in a generation you gotta stop and appreciate it because I thought that this youngster would be good but this fast absolutely not and here we are after tonight talking about the new single season points record in franchise history for what he did and he did it as a freshman that is unbelievable. Just absolutely remarkable. I am almost speechless. And that's saying something because you know I like to talk, boys and girls. I want to hear from you. We're going to hear from the key ingredients. We'll hear from the man of the hour. You know, and I, I want to say this. I, I want to go back to the whole notion and the conversation about the sophomore slump. Because from what I've seen so far in his second year, that does not exist. Does not exist so far from this young forward, right? I mean, he shows up and he competes and the consistency in his game. Look, it's a long season. I... Let's focus on one of the hottest players in hockey right now. And I'll tell you what, everything he touches right now seems to light a lamp, right? Whether he's getting an assist, whether he's... Tick, tick, tick. Closer and closer to this big game edition. How do you approach it, Ray? Uh, for me, I was always a detail guy. I made sure my sticks were done and I'm sitting in the room and thinking about it. Other guys, they just kind of hang out in the bowl and they listen to music. I kind of think their way's better, actually. Less stress. Utah's looking to break out at their own end. Here's a chance! Big time save and a big time shot! Lots of time left in this period. Utah's ahead, 1-0. And off the draw, they win possession. The Senators play it along the boards. Poked away at center ice. Utah's got the puck in the defensive end. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Slides the puck over. There's a shot. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Senators win the defensive zone faceoff. Ottawa's got a hold of the puck. The Senators move it in. Takes a shot. Stops that one. Greg's looking to make something happen here in the corner. And he takes the feed. And now it's grabbed by Cole. Here they come on the attack. Puck picked up by Gunther. Denies him! Oh, Marks made himself look huge on that last save. I mean, anytime. 
when the puck is in a quality scoring area like the slot, you got to get square to the shooter. center and moves forward. You gotta figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. The Senators gain control of the puck. And there's the save on the play. Made the save on the play. Drives to the sweet spot. Moves it over to Perron. And he'll take a step back here deep inside his own zone. Ingram's been great tonight so far, and he's continuing right where he left off after getting that perfect game going the other day. Utah's in transition. Oh, look at this. Fires it on net. Beautiful glove stop on that one. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Past the midway mark of the frame. 1-0 the score. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Rips it! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Utah's playing it from the side. Slides it across! Unloads the shot! And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Looking to set up offensively. Fires it. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Through center along the wing. Oh, what a move. Ottawa's got control of it now from their own end. Moves the puck. Moves it on over to Giroux. Shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. The Senators take possession in the defensive end. Utah's got it in the neutral zone. Great reach with the stick by Gunther. Carlin Bade is down at ice level. CB, what's up? Thanks, James. You know, this rookie's on a point streak right now. The coach is challenging him to keep the streak going, and social media is challenging him as well. Jay Trouble says the rook's red hot. Keep burning a hashtag scoring streak, James. I can't even keep up to all that. Thanks very much. That's why we have Carlin Bade as part of this broadcast team. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. Closing seconds of the first intermission, Sabalski pounder, and here comes period number two. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. Fast and quick lead pass. That was amazing, what a save by Omar. And there's another stop. On the sequence of saves, I love how strong he is in his set position here, James. You can see that he gets squared to the shooter, and that makes the second save easier. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Utah's up one zip. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, comes up with a stop. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Utah's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason for that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Offense is on a face off and he wins the draw. The Senators gain possession in their own end. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Oh, and he stops that rocket. Ingram's going to hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Shot! Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too! Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. That one's off the blocker! Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Jumps it into the other end. 
The Senators will play it from the defensive zone. Utah's got the puck along the wall. They go on the attack through center. Quick shot! That's gloved by Omar. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. The Senators have it now. Here they come. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Amadio. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes the feed at the point. Utah's got the puck in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And he takes the dish. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Extended the lead to two. Well, James, it's exactly where you want to be. You have a two-goal push in here, but you also know that your opponent's going to start pressing. There's a lot of game left here, and if they get within one, they'll be within striking distance. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Takes a shot. Ingram's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Great read on the block. Receives the pass. Shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Nice feed at center. Moves up ahead now. Here's a shot. And cut that one out of the net. Through the neutral zone. Moving the puck along the side. Moves it around along the half wall. Feeds it over. The Senators get a hold of the puck along the boards. The backhander, oh, what a stop by Omar. The Senators are on the attack. Shot, that's off a stick. Stop up, stop up. Quick feed to Norris. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Utah's been showing relentless pressure lately. Now up by three. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Handles the puck. Rips it and rips it. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Utah's got it in the offensive zone. Big save. Puck scooped up by Perron. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Takes a shot. And that goes off a player in front. Scores! Well, they needed something and... That clearly was something, Cheryl. Yeah, it certainly was, and there's some pushback, but they're going to need to layer it because they got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. Utah's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Ottawa's got a hold of it against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Drives it to the crease! Oh, a clutch save! Ingram's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Puts it on net! Oh, what a save in front! Big time glove save by Omar! 
Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. More than half the frame has been played here. The Senators are trying to get back into this one as they still trail by two goals. On the attack along the boards. Hammers a shot. Denies him on the play. Ingram's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Here in the late going of the frame, Utah's got a 3-1 lead. The Senators take possession here inside the offensive zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Broken up with a little physicality. Ottawa's looking to break out. And he slides it quickly to Giroux. Sends the pass over. Utah's got it in their own zone. Here they come on the rush. Oh, tremendous stop on the play. Passes it over. The Senators will play it in their own end. Grabbed along the board by Jersey. Moves the puck along the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Ingram. Moves it quickly over to Gunther. Here's a chance. Big save right at the end. There's the horn bringing period number two to an end. 40 minutes down, 20 to go. Third period action is coming up. Are you ready for your walk down memory lane? Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. Pushes it across to Sergeyev and sends it just out of reach. Sergeyev's taking it from his own end. And that pass is redirected. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Here's a shot. Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Ingram's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Oh, and it makes the save just not enough to keep it out. Cheryl, we see this pretty often here. The coach is constantly in the young rookie's ear, but I like this. Uh, so do I. And, and you got to remember that it's just a reminder of habits within the game and that time management, knowing exactly where you are on the ice. Put yourself in spots to be successful protecting the lead. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Shuts them down. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Ottawa's had no shortage of offensive scoring chances, but they still trail here in this third period. The Senators win the face-off. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Blocker save. Ottawa's gained possession along the boards. And it's a one goal game after that one. Well, uh, that's timely execution, James, because there's still runway left. There's still hope they can get back in this one. The Senators have made this a one-goal game here in the third. Might be the final dance in the third period, but there is a lot of runway as this team is on fire right now. And we saw that with that last goal. Is they're within striking distance. You can feel the energy. It's just popping out of them right now. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Makes a save again. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Along the half wall with the puck. Moves it to the middle. And he 
he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Quick pass across to Shabbat. He scores! There it is, his first of the season. But you gotta have a lot of power and quick release to be able to score from long range here, James, and he executes it perfectly. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a tie game. Sanderson's moving the puck through his own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Kachuk. Tries to the crease. Utah's got the puck in their own end. Shakes off the coverage. Takes a shot. And that goes off the body. And a great save. I really like the save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Fires it on net. That goes off a twig. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pass it. And it goes off the iron and stays out. Ottawa's got it in their own zone. Gets the puck in deep. Utah's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass over to Schmaltz. Fires it. Fantastic save. A chance. Oh, he makes another save. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. That's the midway mark in this period. It's all tied up. Ottawa's won the defensive zone draw. The Senators move the puck in the defensive zone. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. There's the buzzer, and that means drama looms with overtime, and it's coming up in just a matter of Ray, it looked like a tough night out there from a relationship standpoint between the rookie and his coach. It was that is that just me, or that's what I kind of gauged from the bench from way up no, here? No, that was a bad game, James. That, uh, that didn't go so well. <laughs> I mean, there's expectations every night for a player, and when the coach feels he can't meet them, he goes down and gives them a challenge before he might sit them down on the bench. The kid just has not been able to respond, and I think that plays... It's probably an example of why a coach needs to coach. Makes the save. Here's a chance. Oh, we are still tied. What a stop. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Off the draw, they take possession. Ottawa's got the puck at the defensive end. Tries to feed it over to Game on a stick! Oh, what a save to keep it tied! This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Senators get a hold of the puck in their own end. 
Moves it to Kachuk. Moves the puck into the D zone. With some open space at center. And the puck skips away after that move. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Oh, this looks dangerous. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Utah's won the draw. Nice zone entry from the middle. All alone! And makes the save. Oh, there's one more! Ottawa's got a hold of the puck. Slides by the check. Looking to end it! Score! They take it in overtime! What an effort by this team out there tonight! And looky, looky here, the hottest player, or at least one of the hottest players in the game right now, just continues to electrify, extending the point streak. Just everything he touches right now seems to turn gold. And I don't know. I mean, no goaltender, no defenseman has had an answer to try to solve this. And you know what? Enjoy it, because this is absolutely phenomenal to watch the way he's been playing right now and we'll see if he can continue this streak onwards and upwards because it shows no sign of stopping anytime soon and look at some of the other numbers here that this team's benefiting hockey ahead and i'm looking forward we'll dive into all of it but uh, to the phones we go let's go to brendan in burlington welcome to the show sir hey thanks for having me uh, you know we all know that management was selling hope at the beginning of the season but if hope looks like this rookie that we have, then there is no hope. I'm sorry. What is wrong? Why, like, based on that one game? Yes, of course, based on that one game. Based on what I'm seeing in the game, of course. Brandon, come on. Look who we are in the season. You, you gotta, you got to pump the brakes a little bit, man. Like, it is, it is one night. I don't think he's been that bad, has he? In, in your mind, oh, clearly you think he is. I, I just... You know, at this point, you should be starting to figure it out a little bit. And I just don't feel like that's happening. And I, I think it's concerning. Uh, I think there think are a lot of things to be concerned about. I would say he's had a couple of adjustments jumping into this level. But I would say I wouldn't put too much concern into it at this point. Is it? Is that me? Thank you for the call. I, I think. Like, am I on, a, on an island here to think this? Like, has the kid been that bad? Now let's take a look at some of the rest of the action tonight in the NHL. The Flyers were looking to steal two points against the Capitals. Philadelphia put on a defensive clinic in the shutout victory. We gotta take a quick break, everybody, but we've got a lot more to get to. Stay with us.
This is a throwdown, a showdown, and it's a Central Division clash ready to go here tonight on EA Sports. This city's been buzzing all day, and it's time to finally see what's up. The Avs start with possession as we are now underway. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. Great reach with the poke check by Keller. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Puts to the point. Big time stop. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. This is it off. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. McKinnon's got the puck in his own zone. Dumps the puck in. Utah's got the puck. Quick pass to Schmaltz. Steps inside the line. Takes the feed. And that's a great heads up play by McCarr. The Avs played along the boards. Slides it over with pace to Schmaltz. Puts it on net. Turned aside with a glove by Ingram. Angles it over to O'Brien. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Oh, what a stop with the glove by Georgiev. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Time to go pound for pound with a key matchup in tonight's game. Cheryl? Well, it's a pretty level playing field, and I'm going to be watching a couple of players here, James, go head-to-head, -head, very similar styles, and I want to evaluate them at the end of the game to see who had a bigger impact. Quick feed to Sergachev. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Sends a pass over. Quick shot, and that's blocked from someone in front. Takes a shot. Denies him! Georgiev's movements are outstanding. I mean, he gets to position so quick. He's athletic, and he makes a huge save from the slot. Handles the puck at the point. Utah's on the attack. Slides it across. How did he stop that one? They are swarming around like bees here in the ozone. Picked up along the board by Jersey. Takes the feed. Utah's got the puck along the wall. Stops him cold. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Takes a shot. Love save made by Ingram. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Into the offensive zone. Shot. And there it is. Stopped by Georgiev. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The game is still scoreless. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Sends it over to Landeskog. Here's a shot. Oh, a clutch save! Utah's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Utah's in now. Handles the pass. Skates in behind the cage. Oh, stick save and a beaut. Here's a short pass to Kesselring. Well, Cheryl, what are your thoughts on this conversation right now we're witnessing between the coach and the youngster? James, I think that the coach is reiterating to the rookie, listen, we're getting in the offensive zone. We've held sustained pressure. We're owning the boards, but we got to find a way to get to the middle of the ice. And often you just need a reminder to drive the paint, to attack, have that mentality. It's got to be killer instinct.
Utah's finally lit the lamp for the first time in this one as we just passed the midway mark of the first. And this is really important to open the game up. It's also important for the coach to utilize their bench. Everyone wants in the game. They want to contribute. You can see with that goal. Everyone's standing up on edge, tapping their sticks. They know that they've got the life now. They know they've got the momentum. Now they've got to do something with it. Come on, Mike Wow, James, was he ever dialed in in that sequence of saves? I mean, one, two, multiple saves here. His D's got to help him out. Shuts him down. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Shot. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Stops him with the glove. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Rantanen's been under a lot of pressure and distractions while there's been talks about his contract extension, but now that it's done and the agents have shored it up, he can be free, he can play his game and get rid of all that stuff in his head. Couldn't catch up to that pass. And now he angles it across to Lekanen. The Avs looking against the half wall. Huge steal in his own end. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. The Avs gain possession. Utah's going to play it along the blue line. Feeds it over. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Woods got it in the offensive zone. Can't hang on after that hit. Utah's looking to break out. And he takes the feed. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Jersey's got it in the defensive end. And he takes the pass. Slides the puck across to Lekanen. And now it's over to Colton. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. Puts it on there. And he keeps that one out. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. Utah's got the lead here late in this first period. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Both teams are recharged, and here we go. Period number two is underway. Well, scores, and they strike Panther once again. Yeah, they do, and their opponents down on their heels are deflated. they got to find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. Utah's made it a two-goal lead now here in this second period, and they are putting on a show tonight. Yeah, it's been an offensive clinic, hasn't it? They dominated in terms of their shot selection, but they have been relentless on the puck as well, so showing a lot of fire in different areas of the ice. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Shot! Gives him nothing in front. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Utah's been firing on all cylinders here early in this second period, and they continue to lead this one. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Utah has been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck, and when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lane. Oh, no! He saved him! Oh, wow! Oh, he was swimming. He was out of the pool, James, but he finds his way back in to make that save incredible. I can't believe it stayed out! As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. McKinnon's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Taves looks around. Takes that pass back at the point. Comes up with a stop. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Sergachev's lugging the puck. Utah's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Denied by Georgiev. The 
goaltender spends so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Takes the pass. Sergachev stick handling in his own zone. Breakaway! Stopped on the breakaway! Well, the shooter gets in tight here, James, and guess what? The goaltender, he does not fight on the first fake, and that allows him to make the save. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And now he tries to get it across to Michelli. Utah's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. Colorado's got possession here in their own end. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. To the front! And he decides to backtrack on a good-looking opportunity. Ingram's going to hang on for a whistle, and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, part of their mental preparation as a goaltender, even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that, and he makes a nice cover. Colorado's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Oh, what a save in front! Ingram's going to hang on for a whistle. More than half the period left to play. Utah's got a 2-0 lead. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. And they continue to apply pressure here. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Utah's got it in their own zone. Here's a chance! Gets a piece of it with the glove! Georgiev's giving his team an opportunity to stay in the game. One save after another. He has been under siege. I mean, the save percentage says it all. They have to shore up their defense and stop chasing the game. Scooped up along the wall by Gunther. Looking to set up offensively. There's a shot! Fantastic save! What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Driving right to the front, and he meets that one square on to stop it. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Utah's been just savage in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this second period. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Utah's got it along the wall. Quick feed down low. Oh, to Bison with the paddle save! Well, a great A scoring chance taken away from the inner slot because he's so aggressive and gets to the top of his crease. Past the midway mark of the frame, we've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Utah's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Jersey's got it to the side. Slides the puck over. And he takes the feed. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Moves the puck. And he turned that one aside. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And he loses control here. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck grab by middle step. Colorado's through center and now in the offensive end. Utah's got a hold of it along the wall. He's got a step. That's how you do it. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Gunther's got it against the boards. Takes the puck behind the net. Passes it over. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And he stopped that one. And that's blocked. And he's going to cover up the puck and get a whistle. 
Russell. That's a great read by the goaltender to hold on, James. They were under siege in their own zone. Now they have an opportunity to reset, refocus, and get back on their horse. Pace off coming up. They can smell blood here, I think. Yeah, they need to put their foot on the gas pedal because they recognize that the goaltender, he was under siege, James, and he really didn't get a chance to get much rest. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denies him in close. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Utah's in cruise control here late in period number two as they lead by a wide margin. Nice job tying up his opponent. With the bank pass. And he takes the dish. Receives the pass. And a great save. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Utah's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long and they lead it here late in the second. Stop that one. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Utah's got control of it now from their own end. Takes a shot. Big time stop. Cuts into the paint. Another stop by the goaltender. Green hits up play with the stick by Landeskog. The Avs have it now. Gains the zone from the right. Finds nothing but air on that shot. They've got numbers here. Fires it on net. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Handles the puck. Sends the pass over. Spectacular stop. They score! Wait, hang on here. They're waving it off immediately. This is not going to count, James. The goaltender had no chance of playing that puck. This is going to be goaltender interference. Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are ready to get play back underway. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, and we're back with a third period next. Here we go, third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Avs need to limit the turnovers if they're going to get back in this game, James. They're down after two periods because they haven't been able to manage the puck. They've been back on their heels, and they're forcing plays all over the ice. A centering chance! And that doesn't connect. Down the right side and into the zone. Utah's got the puck along the boards. Into the offensive end now. Takes it into the slot. And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. Dishes it off. Turned aside with the glove by Georgiev. Utah's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Branton has won the draw inside his own end. Moves it quickly over to Landeskog. Utah's got possession of the puck. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Gunther's going to play it against the half wall. Utah's got the puck in the corner. On the backhand! Comes up with a monster save in front. Lots of time left in this period. 3-0 is where we sit. Utah's ahead in this game because of their second line. I've been really impressed with their performance tonight, James. When you look at the trio, you have to look at the physical engagement, the way they're distributing the puck, and hey, the finish that goes hand in hand with it. He does a great job being set to position here. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to make that second save, James. But it's pure athleticism that gets the job done. Face off coming up here in the attacking zone. Well, they'll want to put their foot on the gas pedal here, sensing that the goaltender's overworked right now. And let's face it, he can't change. 
McKinnon's won the draw here in their own zone. The Avs gain the zone. Fires it! Oh, big time save by Ingram! Middlestat's got it behind the net. Takes the puck along the boards. Slides it diagonally to Brandstrom. A chance right in front, and that's broken up. And it's a quick pass to Brandstrom. Scores! And a little sign of life here on the ice as they try to get back into it. Yeah, a little bit of a momentum swing right here, and now they've got to layer it, which means they've got to have that next shift where they attack and have the mindset to drive the net. Let's see if it's sustainable now. Utah's in on the offensive attack now. Oh, what a close save by Georgiev. Colorado's road trip comes to an end tonight before kicking off a homestand that they should put themselves in position to get on a run here. Utah's been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. The Avs will play it in their own end. Well, we've got a body of evidence now with this run, and who wins the pound-for-pound -pound matchup? McKinnon's been an offensive contributor, and let's face it, James, it's how many goals you can put in that makes the difference. It's score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching dimension and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. Colorado's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And that pass goes off the stick. Great save from in tight. Utah's got the puck along the wall. Carries it across the line. Mapar's taking it from his own end. And that's off a stick. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Slides it up to Jersey. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Avs have possession shorthanded. Branton has got it on the offensive end. Utah's got the puck. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Colton's up and ready to get back on the ice by the goaltender. And now he moves it to Jersey. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they wanted it. The Hans gaining momentum. Avoids the poke check and maintains possession. Dismiss that chance. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. Razor, I want to bring it back to a moment in the game. Correct me if I'm wrong, because, I mean, you got a much better view than I have. Did I see the coach smiling over something the youngster did? Oh, yeah, you did. And, and what's kind of funny about that is usually you have to dimple a smile into that coach. He's so serious <laughs> behind the bench. Yeah! But he gave him a little bit of a challenge, and the kids responded. And you could see there was some satisfaction, and they found the button to push to make this kid a better player.